when you have your triangle, like when you open it up, what's going to be a little distracting are these corners. Because if you think of this, let me move this a little bit. If I fold it down, you know, open as best I can. These parts right here, these little tips, um, they're not going to exist pretty much. So it's kind of hard to explain, but all you care about thinking of is the square. The square of your, um, your combined triangles. So same thing, kind of like what I was talking about with those that are ready for the third square. When I go to line it up, when I go to line up, let's say that second one, let's say I'm going to do this triangle combo and it's going to attach to the plaid. I need to ignore that part, that part that isn't technically a part of the square. So like this part right here, I need to pretend like that doesn't exist because it'll kind of throw you off like once you start sewing. So usually what I do is I'll start lining up my square to the part that doesn't have the weirdness. So like here's my little triangle. Like let's say it's the bottom or the top, you know, if yours like this. And whichever part of that combo doesn't have that little like extra piece, I'm going to line up my squares by that. I'm going to line up by the top that doesn't have it. Now, if you have a paper clip, a bobby pin, this is where it's really going to come into handy because what's happening is this little extra flap, um, I don't say it gets distracting, but it, you need to like push your fabric so that way it, it stays in a square because it's not going to want to. It's going to want to do this or it's going to want to start to like close again, like shut itself. And so when you push it, so just kind of flatten it as best you can. Like my fabric doesn't really like to flatten down, which is fine. Because once I line these up, so here's my first one. Here's my second. I'm always just going to go from the right, flip it over to the left, no matter where we are. Like even when we do the third, third, flip it over to the second. Because I want to make sure I'm doing pretty side to pretty side. I don't want to have to think about it. If I line up my fabric the way it's supposed to look, then it's just a matter of flipping this over. And then because it's that, if you have that first one with the um, right triangles, line up your second to that top edge. And again, what I'm focusing on is this top edge, because this little bit down here doesn't exist. Like it's not gonna, it's not gonna show. So I line up the top, I'm checking the top still and the bottom, just like before. And what helps is if I lay that little piece down, if I just lay it down, and then I'm gonna get my clip. Ooh. Paper clip, bobby pin, whichever. I kind of just make sure that it's going to lay down in the back as well. It's going to want to fight you. And you can still fix it. Even if you're putting the body pin on, you're like, oh, this isn't like sliding on, Mr. Tunde. Put it on. And then kind of go back and see, okay, do I need to fix this? I need to pull it down a little bit. Double check my edges. Because even though there's some piece of the fabric that's a little off, that's okay. It doesn't matter because we're gonna sew in. You know, we're never going to the edge. We're always giving a little bit of that, that space. I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit. That way it's lined up with that corner. And now we're gonna sew. For those that have that, di uh, that um, diagonal as their first or second, when you get to, because you're always going to care about this little joint. What I tend to do is I'll just sew 
I'm sewing on the blue the whole time. Running stitch, running stitch, running stitch. When I get down to here, because I still, I can still do maybe like one more stitch right here. I'll put it in, but now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna jump that other one, just to give me like a stitch attached to that black. You'll probably only get like one stitch. So I have my first one and I flipped over my second. My needle ready. Yeah, Evelyn, if you are already done with that third, it's the same concept. You're just now continuing on. So go ahead. Go right ahead. So for me, um, I always like to start my stitches at the bottom. I don't know why. A preference, I guess. Um, and so I know it's for me. For those of you that just have squares, um, you don't have to worry about this. But I'm going to try to get a little bit of that black on this first one. Again, still not going too close to the edge. Push it through. Pull, pull, pull. And then I'll start my, my running stitch. So just like before, I got that first row. Um, and now I'm just going to go back, back to where I started to start my second row. If this should ever happen, because sometimes this happens to me where I'll like turn around to finish it and I notice that there's this little like weird not happening down the line. Um, kind of like the shoelace, like if someone pulls your shoelace weird, just go back and then just slowly like go and fix that one. We always start the same way and we end the same way. We start with an ugly fly knot and then we end with that loop knot, I guess you would call it. So I'm gonna slide my needle underneath. I hold onto the loop. I know I don't wanna lose it. Turn my needle around, go through the loop, pull, and then do that one more time. It's not a knot yet. Just like when you tie your shoes, like doing that first little like tie, um, it's not a knot yet. Ah. Dun, dun, dun. 
for one, for two. Those of you that are doing your third square, uh, what you'll notice is that um, the squares in the middle, they look really skinny and they're supposed to, remember, because we sew, everything gets a little bit smaller. The end squares, like the first square and the fifth square, they're always gonna look a little bit bigger, but when we put on that framing, because um, there's always gonna be this weird, like extra fabric thing happening at the end of our project. You guys are gonna get a piece of black fabric that's gonna like seal in the back. Remember with the quilt, you have those different layers. So you don't have it yet, because I haven't cut it for you. Um, and I didn't want anyone to lose it. So uh, you'll be getting that closer to the end. So don't worry if you're like, oh man, why do the first and the fifth look bigger? They're gonna get small. They're gonna get small once we start sewing it onto that backing. So you're okay. You're okay. 